Good morning, children. How are you? Are you all fine? Yes. So yesterday was Sunday. So how did you enjoy your Sunday? Sunday means holiday, and there will be no videos, no classes, and no homework. You all enjoyed well. Very good. Okay, today we are going to have our EBS class. Okay? Yes. So children, at night, what time you will go to bed? At 9 o'clock? Yes. It is very good habit to sleep at 9 o'clock. So some children will wake up till 10, 30, 11. That's not a good habit. You should go to sleep at 9 o'clock in the night. Okay? Yes. In the morning, at what time you will wake up? 6.30 or 7. It is enough for you because you are small children, no? So, up to 7, you can be able to sleep. So, more than, means after 7, you should not sleep there. It's not a good habit. Okay? You have to wake up. So, it's, it's, it is very, very good habit if you wake up still early in the morning. Means at 6, if you wake up at 6, means it is very, very good habit and you will be so healthy also. Okay? Yes. So, now I will ask you some questions. You just uh, answer it yourself. Uh, after waking up, what you will do? First, what you will do? You have to do, you have to go to the washroom and you have to brush your teeth. What you have to do? After waking up, you have to first, you have to brush your teeth. Okay? Yes. After that, you have to wash your face. Next, if you come out of the washroom, your mother will give you some milk. Yes? Yes, you have to drink that milk. After some time, at 9, 9.30 or before 10, you should have your breakfast. Yes? Yes. So, after that, you have to look at the video and you have to complete your homework. Okay? Yes. Next, you have to take bath. And you have to take your bath. You have to put the washed clothes. Then you have to comb your hair neatly. Okay? Yes. So, every Sunday, you have to trim your nails. Nails means gold. So, every Sunday, uh, every week, every Sunday, on Sunday, you have to trim your nails for fingers and the toes. Toes means the fingers which will have for your feet. Okay? You have to trim your nails. Neatly. If not, if you grow your nails means you will play in the dust, mud and all, no? That mud and all will go into the nails and when you are eating with your hand, so that mud also will go inside your stomach and you will get some health issues. So, every Sunday you have to trim your nails and you have to listen to your parents. Elders, what they say, you have to listen, you have to do. Okay? Yes. So, so brushing at night also you should brush. Means per day you have to brush twice. Means two times. Early in the morning and when you are going to bed at night. Then your teeth will be very healthy. And you have to take bath every day. And you have to trim your nails weekly once. You have to comb your hair weekly. These are all come under good habits. These are all come under good habits. So today in EBS we are going to learn the lesson good habits. So lesson number 7. Good habits. Okay. This is the lesson. Today we are going to 
healthy food you should not eat junk food you should avoid the junk food drink the clean water and we have to drink only the clean water take rest when we are tired tired means you will play after one hour or two hours you will be playing after that you will get so much of sweat sweat means stomach so at the time and you will get the gasa like that when you are running continuously playing continuously you will get like that so at that time you will be tired means alisipora so at that time what you have to do you have to take rest for some time you have to sit or you have to uh, lay down for some time like that you have to take rest when you are get tired now let us discuss about some good manners okay good manners being polite being polite polite means uh, some maryada ga maatladam not like that giving respect to others look here he is drinking the clean water they are doing some exercises and here she is eating a fruit that is very healthy fruit what am i so how we should learn good manners and how we should be polite to others it is important to be polite to everyone so we should be very polite to everyone we should behave well with others so others means pakka wala to we should behave very well some polite words so here they have given some polite words i will write what are the words polite words so these words are called polite words the first one is sorry yes or otherwise sorry next thank you t h a n k y o u thank you next one is welcome w e l c o m e w e l c o m e welcome next one is excuse me excuse me a p c a p a s e please so these are some of the polite words okay yes now first one is sorry so when we will use sorry to others when we hurt them hurt and it bada better so when we hurt them or uh, when we dash give a dash to anybody or when we uh, push somebody without knowing so at that time we have to say sorry friend sorry my dear i'm sorry like that so in your house when you hurt your mother your mother will be there your mother will say to drink some milk or some water or something you say no mommy i won't drink i won't do that work So your mother will ask to bring some water to her. No ma, I won't drink. Now let her do. You will say like that. But that is not a good habit. So your mother will get hurt. So at that time, what you have to say, mommy, sorry, mommy, I will bring water to you. If you say like that, your mother will be so happy. Or if you hurt your father or anybody also, you should say sorry. Okay, your friends or anybody, if you say sorry, if you hurt anybody, you should say sorry to them. Okay, yes. Next, thank you. When you will say thank you, if you take something from any others, means if you take some pencil or eraser from your friend, when you are returning it to them, you should say thank you. And also. If you are celebrating your birthday, your friends will wish you many more happy returns of the day. Like that. at that time, you have to say thank you, and they will give any gift to you. You have to say thank you, my dears. And your father will bring something to you. He will give you should say thank you, father. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, mummy. Like that. They will feel so happy. Next. Welcome. So, if anybody say thank you to you, you should say welcome. Okay. Yes. Next. Excuse. 
excuse me means so if you got any sneeze when you are discussing with your parents or uh, with your friends so you get one sneeze like hatch that is excuse me hatch means after sneezing you have to say excuse me because don't mind anything any man ko kandi like that otherwise so when you are moving when you are walking so somebody was in front of you and there is no way to go so at that time you can say excuse me sir or excuse me ma'am so they will move to the side then you can move in that way we can use this excuse me word is the word last for the word here is please so when we will use this when you want anything from others we can ask by using the please word please please give me the pencil please give me the pen like that okay okay so these are the polite words sorry thank you welcome excuse me please okay so you have to maintain the good manners and you have to learn the good habits in everyone likes you Okay so remaining lesson let us continue in another class thank you